How does milk get from the cow to your glass? It's actually not as simple as you think. This is how milk is made. Of course, it starts with the cows. In a farm, cows are carefully taken care of. The healthier the cow, the better the milk. The farm milks the cows twice a day. This used to be done by hand, but now a milking machine is attached to the cow's udders to automatically milk the cows. It takes about 10 minutes average to milk a cow. Once the milking is done, the machine also detaches automatically. Meanwhile, the milk is stored in a tank at four degrees Celsius. Next up is separating the milk into three parts, cream, skim milk, milk and whole milk. By spinning the milk at high speeds, the heavier particles sink to the bottom of the container, while the lighter ones rise to the top. Any debris is further filtered through a clarifier. It then passes through a separator, which splits the cream from the skimmed milk. The separator controls the fat content of the final product. Any extra milk fat containing can be used for cream and butter. Now is the most important step. Pasteurizing is the process of heating food to a specific temperature for a set time. This kills harmful bacteria bacteria while also stopping the food from spoiling. When it comes to milk, it's pasteurized by pumping it through a pipe at 72 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds. This step is so important, a sensor at the end of the pipe checks the temperature of the milk in case it needs to be processed again. At this point, the milk needs to be homogenized. It gets passed through small holes at high pressures, controlling the size of the milk fat particles. This ensures that the milk is mixed evenly. It's then cooled to 4 degrees Celsius. Finally, the milk gets fortified. Fortification is the process of adding nutrients to milk to make it even more nutritious for humans. This includes nutrients like vitamin A, vitamin D, and calcium. The most common method is by adding powdered vitamins and minerals. This ensures the milk is healthy without changing its taste is texture. Afterwards, it gets bottled or put in cartons and sent off to groceries to be sold. This is how milk gets from the cow to your glass. What do you think? What's your favorite dairy product?